Elon Musk is the richest man in the world and one of the most popular people on the planet. The billionaire is the founder of Tesla, a company that deals in clean energy and the manufacturer of electric vehicles. Without a doubt, Tesla is one of the biggest and most influential companies in the world. And having a Tesla company in your city is bound to do great things for the city. That is why in the Texas municipality of Del Valle, which is located in Austin, a celebration broke out when Elon Musk announced last summer that he planned to open a new Tesla factory in Austin. The factory is expected to be completed by the end of 2021, with some operations starting online from as early as May, and is projected to be a billion-dollar company that will employ about 5,000 people into the manufacturing industry, whilst benefiting hundreds of contractors and suppliers. Tesla announced that about 65% of the factory's jobs will be middle-skilled and will not require a college degree. Starting salaries have been pegged at $35,000 a year, and salaries average more than $47,000. Even though the factory isn't functional yet, Tesla seems to have hit the ground running as a lot of jobs have been listed on Tesla's official website for positions in Austin. To win the privilege of having the Tesla factory, Del Valle had to outbid Tulsa, Oklahoma. Due to the hit of the pandemic, Del Valle, like most other places in the world, found its economy badly hit by the ripple effects of COVID-19. Having the Tesla factory located in the town would do great things for the economy. Most of the incentives it offered to Tesla came in the form of tax breaks. Elon Musk, during an interview, said that he believes that Austin has a huge potential. He said that the Texas town is going to be the biggest boom town that America has seen in the last 50 years. He said that Tesla chose Austin as the location for its new factory because it looks a bit like a mini California. He went on to say, I think we do need to make sure that people who move here from California don't inadvertently recreate the issues that caused them to move in the first place. In addition to the new plant, Musk's other company, SpaceX, has made the decision to move to Texas, following in the footsteps of mega businesses like Oracle, Facebook, and Google. On the 13th of January, county commissioners voted in support of Tesla's federal request for designation as a foreign trade zone, a move which would exempt the automobile company from custom duty payments on materials used in export production. Needless to say, the opening of the company is going to lead to a boost in Austin's economy. More than 5,000 Texas companies and 400,000 Texans are currently part of industries that could readily jump into the growing electric vehicle supply chain. The factory, which Elon Musk referred to as Giga Texas, is expected to set Tesla back a staggering $1 billion. The factory will measure anywhere between 4 million and 5 million square feet and should be able to sustain a minimal level of operation by May. Following the standards laid out by the American Institute of Architect, Already, the construction of the factory is going on so fast that it may be completed before the estimated deadline. While the factory was slated to deal in the manufacture of the electric cars, for which Tesla has become so popular, it appears as though there will be more being produced in the factory than electric vehicles alone. Tesla has filed for a permit from the state of Texas to produce batteries in addition to the electric vehicles. If the permit is granted, then the Austin factory will be the first Tesla factory to be equipped to be able to manufacture both batteries and vehicles on a full scale. While Tesla hasn't officially confirmed the rumors, the permit files are more than enough to make things quite clear indeed. The Austin factory is important to Tesla because the company has big plans to break into the pickup market, which is currently dominated by Ford, General Motors, and Fiat Chrysler. The Austin factory is projected to be the launching point for Tesla's line of electric pickup vehicles, which have been named the Cybertruck because the truck looks like something you would see in a high-budget, futuristic sci-fi movie. Apart from the Tesla plant, it seems as though another Musk business, the Boring Company, a tunneling and infrastructure transportation firm, has its sights set on Austin as well. The company's official Twitter account cryptically hinted that Elon Musk has something cooking. The company tweeted, 
rumor has it that Austin Chalk is geologically one of the best soils for tunneling. Want to find out? Austin Jobs now available. While it is still unclear where and why and if the company would be planning to tunnel in Austin, it appears as though Elon Musk himself has taken a personal liking to the area. As that, he has moved permanently to Austin along with the Musk Foundation. In addition to the factory, Tesla has also filed for a $2.5 million project for a 30,000 square foot showroom. Construction was slated to begin by June 15th this year and end three months later on the 15th of September. Texas law forbids Tesla from selling vehicles directly to customers, but it allows the company to show the vehicles in a showroom. The company won't be allowed to speak to customers about the pricing of the cars, as that falls under the umbrella of sales. It is expected that during the 2021 Texas legislative session, Tesla will push for the ability to be able to sell their vehicles to customers directly. And it's very highly likely that they'll get the permit. After all, not only are they bringing valuable business that will boost the economy of the state, but they're also employing a lot of Texans. Under current Texas law, the company would have to ship the vehicle out of Texas before they can sell to their Texan customers. Which makes very little sense. If they get the permit, that means that Texans will now have the option to buy cars directly from Tesla rather than ordering online, making it less of a hassle for them. Also, Tesla owners in the state will no longer have to travel out of state to take delivery of their car or have it serviced. Tesla's senior director of public policy and business development announced that the factory and the company by extension plans to forge partnerships with high schools, colleges, workforce training agencies, and trade groups in the Austin area as it builds its roster of employees in the region. He said, We need access to the best. We need access to a lot of folks. And we need trained people. And we need to have those partnerships in place. While Tesla's decision to situate the new factory in Austin wasn't exactly expected, it will be nothing short of interesting to see what becomes of it. If Elon Musk's track record of being successful with all his actions is anything to go by, we expect that the new Austin factory will be no different. We're looking forward to seeing the factory begin operations and roll out some EVs. What do you think about the Austin factory? Do you think Tesla could have picked a better location? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and turn on notifications so that you can keep up with our latest updates. See you next time!